Hey everyone, Jessica here and I'm making another quick tutorial to give you a really good idea um, for using your new Jungle Love brushes. So um, for my All Access members, there's if you check in your, go from your dashboard and find your Instant Access folder, there's two different color palettes here, Peach Floral 1 and Peach Floral 2. I'll probably use the number 2. So um, I found out something when I was playing with my brushes that looks really cool. Um, I think I will probably grab, oh wait, which one is it? So to start off with, of course, you make sure that you've selected your pattern stamp tool and got my, oh wait, hold on one second. Pattern stamp tool, there we go. Make sure impressiveness is checked. And then I'm gonna go to my new jungle of patterns and I'm gonna get, um, Pattern number, let's see, not seven. I'm gonna get number eight. Okay, which this is a giraffe. And one thing that I noticed of this that's really cool is if you use this, it paints out this giraffe pattern, but the giraffe pattern is like quite neat because it also looks like a mosaic tile. And so I, I was playing around with some different color schemes and I found this one um, that I sampled from a photo that I like that was like some peach flowers with some blue accents. So I'm actually gonna take this Jungle Love brush number eight. One little modification that I did is I went, I changed a little modification in my brush panel and I'll show you how to do it here. It's not a big deal, you can just use the brush as is. But if you don't see your brush panel, you can, um, it's brush settings, you can go to window brush settings and pop that out. And this is where I, you know, put all the brush settings to make like the brushes do everything. So for this one, the only thing I changed on that brush is I clicked here on Shapes Dynamics and I changed the angle jitter to 100 because as it is, it's kind of like an up and down or a, um, a directional brush, but I want to change it to where it just, um, the angle goes all over and it looks a little bit better when I do this kind of technique. So what's really cool is this, like when you paint it out, it really kind of looks like a mosaic and I think it's really neat. So um, don't forget if you're an all access member, you can download these in your instant access folder already. But I'm just gonna go through here and I'm just gonna start painting and you see what I mean. It's got this really cool mosaic and it looks so complex, you know, it looks like you're just doing tons of work. And all I'm simply doing is painting with a Photoshop brush, which is amazing. All those colors already um, selected. You don't have to pick out the color scheme. And what's cool is it's always changing. So you can just like, if you know, you want to play around with it, it just looks different how every way you do it. So I think this looks just super cool. And it's just really got that like mosaic look to it. And if you use one too, that has maybe like less color um, gradations, then you'll see more of the pattern pop out as well. So you can just have fun with it and try it with all your color palettes. But it's a lot of fun. And then it just look, gives it this cool mosaic look, like it's a little bit of a, a stone tile or whatever. And um, kind of just zoom in here, but I really like it. You know, you can do this with any of your color palettes. Let me just try one of the ones that it comes with. Um, even like a red or something. I am like loving this red. Here we go. This looks so rich, this red. I'm so in love with it. But the same thing you can see here. You can see that like leopard pattern in there. And it's, uh, but it's really looking like tiles. So you can have a lot of fun with this. Or even, you know, you can go over it with a lighter red in some spots. Or even I'm just, you know, just have fun, play with some light colors. You could make who knows what, but it just looks crazy. And it's got this like very feathery kind of look too. So it's a lot of fun. I'm all about experimenting, but I, I like the look of this and I'll probably play with it some more, but I love how that looks a bit like a mosaic and it's simply just one brush. So I think it's really fun. And I'm always just trying to find fun things to do with my brushes and you know, just uh, experimenting and sometimes it leads to really fun accidents. So hopefully you enjoyed that. It's super easy. And if you're an All Access member, just download that palette. You can use that palette with your other brushes too. 
Um, I think I had made some like quite cool flowers actually. And I'll just quick just show that to you. I think I used my artistic autumn or something. But using like that same peach floral palette, you know, you can kind of take some brush strokes here. Like I like I like this and make some really cool flo uh, little flower motifs or something. I think I, I think I made one that looked like that. I think it was quite pretty, but I think the, the, the colors in it are very romantic and, you know, just have fun and make some, make some, you know, experiments and see what happens. But don't forget, you know, you can always use all the color palettes with any of the brushes. So the, um, this one would also look quite cool with, um, one of my tool, my lace and my lace and floral. I think it would look very neat. That's very romantic. I love that. So this color palette is quite cool, and I think if you use these um, the floral and lace romance brushes, okay, that I'm loving. That one, uh, it's very nice for like feminine wedding invitations, things like this as accents. You know, it gives kind of the I. Else under that, it gives kind of the idea of flowers, but it's very um, subtle. So I love these brushes. So anyway, hopefully you found that useful. And if you have any questions, just um, message me below in the comments.